Good evening, Mr. Dookie. I have a story for you, and it is just in time for Halloween. Hope it makes the cut and gets on your program. Thanks for always giving me the creeps, lol. Here's the story, deep within the heart of a sprawling city, hidden beneath the labyrinthine streets and bustling avenues, there lay an old, disused subway station known as Milton Street. Its tunnels, long forgotten by the masses, were a gateway to the past, a relic of a bygone era, closed to the public for decades. It had become a place of urban legends and eerie tales. In the mid-twentieth century, an unspeakable tragedy had befallen Milton Street. A subway accident had claimed the lives of several passengers. The details of that fateful night were shrouded in mystery, and over the years, a chilling belief had taken root among the locals. They whispered that the souls of the deceased, restless and tormented, still lingered within the dimly lit confines of the abandoned station. It was a moonless night, the air thick with suspense. When a small group of daring urban explorers gathered near the sealed entrance of Milton Street, armed with flashlights, camera equipment, and a sense of adventure that bordered on recklessness, they had decided to delve into the dark depths of the forsaken station. Their descent began with the creaking of an old iron door, and as they moved deeper into the station, the oppressive darkness swallowed them whole. The beam of their flashlights cut through the obsidian void, revealing crumbling tiles, peeling posters, and a pervasive sense of decay. It wasn't long before strange occurrences began to unfold. Footsteps echoed from somewhere deep within, growing louder, yet the source remained elusive. One by one, the explorer's flashlights flickered and died, plunging them into an inky blackness that seemed to have a tangible weight. Whispers? Like ghostly sighs filled the air, and eerie voices seemed to rise from the very walls themselves. The temperature plummeted, and their breath fogged up in front of them. They continued onward, driven by both fear and fascination. In the heart of the station, they stumbled upon an old subway car, its exterior shrouded in decades of dust and decay. The group cautiously entered the carriage, and as they did, they saw something that sent shivers down their spines. In the dusty, cracked windows of the subway car, they saw flickers of ghostly apparitions, the pale, ethereal faces of those who had perished in the tragic accident. These silent phantoms stared blankly into the void, their eyes filled with a sorrow so profound that it seemed to seep into the souls of the living. A cold, spectral wind swept through the subway car, extinguishing their flashlights, and the explorers were enveloped in a suffocating darkness terrified and disoriented. The explorers began to make a hasty retreat. But as they rushed toward the entrance, they discovered something even more unsettling. The exit had vanished, the way they had entered, just moments ago, was now a solid brick wall, as if the station itself had conspired to trap them in its malevolent depths. And then they heard it, the wailing and moaning of the ghostly passengers grew louder. The explorers felt an otherworldly presence drawing closer, and the shadows that played upon the tunnel walls seemed to take on a life of their own. The whispers turned into an incessant chorus of mournful voices, for hours they wandered the labyrinthine tunnels, unable to find an escape. In the unrelenting darkness, they saw the ghostly faces appearing in the shadows, heard the echoes of their footsteps, and the whispers of the lost souls. The explorers realized that they had become part of the haunting prisoners of Milton Street, destined to join the countless others in the echoing depths of darkness. And so, the story of Milton Street subway station continues to be whispered in hushed tones, a chilling reminder of the uncharted mysteries that lie beneath even the most bustling cities. In the bowels of that forsaken station, the lost souls of the past and the unfortunate explorers remain intertwined. Their fates forever sealed in a place where time stands still and the darkness never yields.